please come by and enjoy the music of the Essex Piano Trio at 3 o'clock. That features Beverly Saul on piano, David Cabral on cello, Ashley Operett on violin. You're lucky because they're here right now to give us a little preview. <laughs> Welcome, the Essex Piano Trio. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Great to have you all here. Really appreciate it. Now, it says the Essex Piano Trio, but as I just <laughs> mentioned, each one of you plays a, a different instrument. So, Beverly, maybe we could uh, start with you and give us a little uh, background on, uh, on the trio, if you could, on the group. Well, I could do that. And first, I'll start with <laughs> Piano Trio. Yes. There are not three pianos. Okay. <laughs> um, it, it actually came out of, I think, Baroque playing where there was a, a contenuo player supporting perhaps a solo instrument with harpsichord. And then it, as the piano was invented and it, it grew, um, composers started finding a way that all these instruments would be equal. Mm, okay. So the piano is still, you know, we hang out with doing all the harmony and, the, and a lot of talking back and forth and the two solo instruments talk back and forth with me. Mm -hmm. So a really fine composer Okay. We've solved that together for our three instruments. Very nice. How did all of you come together? How did the group form? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I, I knew them, Ashley and Bev, separately for what well, I think we just talked about like 10 years. Um, and then I introduced the two of you at some point. Yeah. And we played a recital together. Yeah. yeah. And there was <laughs> definitely a lot of chemistry between the three of us. We enjoyed playing together a lot. Okay. And about how long ago was that, would you say? This is... We're, we're going into our fourth year playing as a trio. So relatively new then. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And how would you kind of assess it? How's it going? How's it been received, actually? Really well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we started small and we're just growing and um, getting our name out there. And where, you know, where do you play? What kind of venues do you, do you find yourself playing at? Um, we've played in churches. We've played in concert halls. Um, Got to play in a mansion. Now we get to play in a library. Yes, we played at the Salem okay. Witch House. Really? Okay. Yeah. That we was, played at that Salem really... High School a couple of weeks ago okay. with, with an so orchestra. You're... So that was pretty neat to have the trio with the orchestra. Yeah, so you're really out in the community then. So you, mm -hmm. you know, this is not just, um, you know, tucked away in a concert hall somewhere. Um, you're, you're really out there at, at library here now and schools, right. as you mentioned. And, and up uh, to Maine. Yeah, up to yeah. Maine, New Hampshire. Really? Okay. We're playing in Rhode Island. Okay. Connecticut. Yeah. So I'd be curious yeah, to hear about all of your kind of backgrounds and you know, how you got to this point in your <laughs> lives slash careers, if you will. Maybe, Ashley, you can uh, start and give us a little bit of information about yourself. Sure, yeah. So I'm a New Englander by birth. I'm from Maine. Um, went to school up there, then went to the Midwest for more school. Uh -huh. And my husband and I really missed New England. So okay. Boston's a place that a lot of musicians can work. Sure. So we came here and been here for about 10 years now playing with Dave for almost 10 years <laughs> right. now, too, yeah. So. And is this, would you say this is your kind of job, your your primary yeah, career? Yeah, here? I'm a full-time musician. You I are. Yeah, I play with the trio. I also teach lessons to little fledgling musicians. Okay. Yeah. Piano and violin. Piano and violin. And quite well. It's good work. <laughs> it's good work? <laughs> yeah. If you can get it. They're cute. <laughs> so what would be your kind of advice, I guess, to an aspiring musician? What do you tell your students if they want to become, you know, full-time musicians yeah. as you for yourself? Number one, listen and see as much music really? as you can. Yeah, I mean, the practice, obviously, but if you're not, if, you're, if your ears aren't in it and your heart's not in it and you're not experiencing it, you really don't know what it means. So. It. What is it when you say it? it? Yeah. Music. The practice of music making. Okay. Yeah. So is it also an art, though? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely gets to that creative part of your brain where you make something beautiful. So. Sure. Have it always been classical music in your repertoire or are there other types of music, would you say, as well? For the most part, yes. Okay. I will venture out a little bit sometimes. Like in, I've done pop rock concerts. Those yep. are fun with the big venues and arenas. Okay. And things, but yeah, for the most part, this is where my heart is. So now for this particular um, uh, setting, you're playing violin. Yes. Um, but is that, do you have other uh, instruments as well that you're... I do a little bit of piano, but violin is my primary training. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Beverly, how about yourself? Um, you, you seem to be uh, kind of the, the veteran, I will say, of the, of the group. That would be a fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way of saying I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say that. No, well, it, it's The okay. most experienced. The most experienced. Yeah. No, I, I grew up in the South, oh. uh, country music world, right? Really? But... I think from the time I, I was 15, yeah. I knew that classical piano was where I was going. Um, the odd thing I, I think about me is that <clears throat> just being in a practice room or playing on a concert stage by myself mm -hmm. is not who I want to be. Mm. It's always been working with friends that was exciting. I played a lot with singers, 
and that's another world and a wonderful one. But there's some incredible magic to these two people. Hmm. String players can be difficult. <laughs> Pianists can be difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But there's something about magic when all of a sudden there is no warfare in it. When there is just give and take and conversation and nobody's ego gets hurt. Yeah. Um, so that's why I make music, yeah. is for that magic. It's true. We have um, a very healthy rehearsal process where, you know, there's no divas among us. Okay, where, yeah. <laughs> that's the second time you've mentioned conversation and talking. So you really, you're speaking with your music. You're, yes. Yeah, you're expressing yourself through your music. It's, it's always been about that. Sure. Music is the heart of my being. There is no other way to describe what my life has felt like. Wow. And I haven't always been able to do it as the center. Mm -hmm. But at this point I am and and um, it's where I want to be. Yeah, you're teaching still, right? I'm still teaching at Salem State. Okay. I do some of the Music 100 or the, okay. the yep. Women in Music courses. I do all the accompanying. So I meet all the, the babies, players and singers. Right. And try to bring them along a little bit to, to learn what the art is about. Yeah. To learn what makes it magic. Are young people still interested in classical music? I mean, <laughs> Sigh. Not so much. Yeah. Um, for some of them, it's even the music majors there, which horrifies me. Mm. It's it's just a foreign world that they think has been bypassed. Mm. Um, and I know that there are wonderful communities where it hasn't been. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. but at Salem, we just try to bring them along a little bit as we can. Yeah. Do you uh, do you find uh, converts? You know, after they've maybe gone through the process Definitely. and learned a little bit about Definitely. yeah. Because, you know, folks like, what, Beethoven and Bach were rebels of their time, right? Yes, they, they were. <laughs> I mean, totally. those were like the punkers of, of their day, right? <laughs> or Liszt was the rock star of his age. Yeah. I mean. So I think when you personalize yeah. it, maybe it's like, it opens their it, eyes a little It makes bit. a difference. Yeah. And when they learn that there's something more than just singing a tune and playing a few chords. <laughs> with it, so. yes, or, or plugging it into an app. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, David, you are the, uh, the cello player. I am. The Essex Piano Trio. Yes. Has that been your forte for your <laughs> career? Um, well, I play multiple instruments. Okay. That I, I think now I probably consider cello my main instrument. Okay. Um, but uh, out of high school, I went. I attended the Boston Conservatory. I didn't graduate. Okay. Went to the Boston Conservatory for viola performance, um, and I've always kind of played viola and cello simultaneously my whole okay. life. Um, and I think at the time I needed a more steady nine to five yep. job. So I actually make my living in the medical field. Really? Uh, yeah. Unlike Ashley and Bev, I don't make my living doing music. Okay. Um, I feel like my, my daytime career allows me to kind of explore music. Um, so I'm not a full-time classical musician either. I also play in a Celtic band. Really? As well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so I kind of straddle the classical and Celtic mm. worlds. Right. Um, I've always kind of been a little bit of a jack of all trades as far as music goes. Okay. Um, Are you a doctor? Uh, no, I'm a medical technician. Okay. So I work in pediatric cardiology. Oh, oh all right. Yeah, doing ultrasound, fetal ultrasound. Wow. Now, how do those two sides of your brain exist to <laughs> together? It's interesting. Know? Yeah, it's one funny. Is There's something to that, right? Yeah. I'm, I, yeah, I'm not sure what the connection yeah. is, but there are a lot of musicians that work in the medical field. Yes. Interesting. In fact, in Boston, there's a there's the Longwood Symphony, and which is made up completely of people in the medical field. Okay. So there's something there. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> well, I guess medicine can be considered an art form, I suppose, if they call it practice, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's definitely an art form, but yeah. there's a science to music well, too. Okay. Um, it, it, so I don't know, the, the musician brain somehow, those two things overlap, yeah. science and music. Interesting, yeah. So um, the Essex Piano Trio, who would you say is your audience? You know, I mean, who, who enjoys listening to you folks and, and, and what do they get out of your performances? Hmm. I think we work really hard to not do the same format that other piano trios do, which is three really big works, which might be difficult for a listener who's not used to attending yeah. those kinds of events. So we like to put in, pull in a smattering of all different styles. We've done some tango, we've done ah. some more eclectic modern things, okay. um, some of our own arrangements of works, just to try to give more things for, and more variety maybe to an audience that isn't, you know, is looking for that. Right. right? And we talk. And we oh, talk. you do? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so an audience will listen to almost anything. Yeah. If you can convince them of its worth. Yeah. 
Interesting. So before the show or during or after? During. during. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because okay, so you'll introduce pieces. Well, yeah, and Bev is really great about kind of setting up certain pieces that might be a little more challenging for an audience yes. to hear. Certain composers are a little bit more challenging than, you know, the, the classical stuff that's very easy to listen to. Yeah. Bev is really great about kind of preparing them for what they're about to hear. Okay. And I think that starting off at that point really helps the audience appreciate it okay. more. Okay, so in other words, you know, listen for this, you know, make, it helps them pay attention, right. I suppose, Or, and right? just yeah. saying, you know, it, it, may, it may sound a little strange to you, yeah. but this is where it comes from. Okay. You all seem to really enjoy and get a passion for what you do, so I'm sure it's going to come out in the music and the performance as well. Our viewers luckily get a little uh, preview right now, because we're going to show them a little uh, <laughs> clip uh, of your performance. Really appreciate the opportunity Thank to you. talk to you. Thanks very much. Our pleasure. Thank you. You're very welcome. And if you'd like to get more information about this or any of the programs at the library, go to their website. It's Tom Crane Library dot org.